Hello, welcome to today's short and self-explanatory lecture on computer appreciation. Part 1. I titled this lecture Part 1, because it is actually the first tutorial under computer appreciation. And we will still be having series of tutorials under computer appreciation. So if you are visiting this channel for the first time, please tap the subscribe button also turn on the notification bell to stay updated whenever we post videos like this. So let's look at our course content, in this tutorial we shall be looking at 1. What is computer? 2. Components part of a computer. 3. Input devices, central processing unit also known as the CPU, output devices. 4. Components of the system unit. What is the computer? A computer is an electronic device that accepts data, information through, input devices, process the information in the central processing unit then gives out processed information through output devices. Please take note of the words highlighted with red color because as we proceed we will get to be repeating these words in different ways. The computer can also be seen as a machine that performs tasks, such as calculations on electronic communication, under the control of a set of instructions called a program. Programs or application usually reside within the computer and are collected and processed by the computer's electronics. The program results are stored in the computer memory and are transferred to output devices, such as monitors or printers. The computer works on data to produce information. From this short and self-explanatory definition of computer, you can note down the three key elements, input devices, CPU and output devices. Component Parts of the Computer The computer consists of three interdependent component parts which include 1. The keyboard 2. The system unit 3. That display unit They are seen as interdependent because if one of the listed components is not present the computer is incomplete and cannot function. We will be discussing all this components parts one after the other starting from the keyboard. So what is our keyboard? The keyboard is an electronic device used for sending of data to the system. It is classified under input devices. The keyboard is also classified into different units based on their functions. Number of keys in a standard keyboard. Every standard keyboard consists a total of 104 keys. What you see on the screen is a clear picture of a standard keyboard. The keyboard is divided into different sections based on their functions. Sections of the keyboard include 1. Typing keys. This is the alphabetical section of the keyboard that is, the alphabet to Z. This section consists of the 26 alphabetical keys. 2. Numeric keys. This section helps in inputting numbers ranging from 0 to 9. 3. Functional keys. This include F1 to F12. This section functions according to a specific task when called upon. 4. Modify keys. These keys depend on other keys to perform their tasks. They cannot work on their own but help other keys to make some modifications. These include, Control, Alternate, Shift, Tab, Windows key. 5. Indicator keys and indicator area. The indicator keys consist of, the caps lock, number lock and scroll lock. Similarly, the indicator area is a section consisting of three lights that displays the status of the computer system. The lights are labeled according to their functions. Caps lock labeled A, number lock labeled 9, and scroll lock labeled with an arrow. 6. Direction keys. This section aid the movement of the cursor. The directional keys include, insert, home, page up, page down, delete, and an arrow keys. The keyboard also consists of the backup session which is controlled by the number lock. Difference between backspace and spacebar. Backspace, the backspace is used to erase letters. Spacebar, the spacebar key is used to give space in between words. This is also seen as the longest key of the computer keyboard. Difference between backspace and delete. Backspace, the backspace key is used to erase letters to the left hand side. For example we have prosper as a word now, and our cursor is in between O and S. 
Pressing the backspace at this level will erase all. While the delete button on the other hand is used to erase letters to the right hand side. For example we have prosper as a word and our cursor is in between O and S. Pressing the delete key at this level will erase S. Display unit as a component part of the computer. The display unit also called monitor. This is an electronic device that displays the information from the computer system, it is seen as the screen. It is known as visual display unit, VDU, monitor or screen. The central processing unit as a component. The central processing unit is the core of any computer devices. It is also known as the brain of computer and no action can be conducted by a device without the execution and permission of the central processing unit. It comprises three major components of the computer which include, 1. Memory unit. 2. Control unit. 3. Arithmetic and logical unit. The memory unit. When we enter the data into the computer using an input device, the entered data immediately gets saved in the memory unit of the central processing unit, CPU. Because of the presence of some existing programming, the memory unit transmits the data further to the other parts of the CPU. Similarly, when the output of our command is processed by the computer, it is saved in the memory unit before giving the output to the user. The control unit. This is the core unit which manages the entire functioning of the computer device. It is one of the most essential components of the computer system. The control unit collects the data entered using the input unit, leads it on for processing and once that is done, receives the output and presents it to the user. It can be said to the center of all processing actions taking place inside a computer device, basically, the instructions taken, interpretation of and the data, issuing signals to execute the data and then finally retrieving the data is all done in the control unit. Arithmetic and logical unit. As the name suggests, all the mathematical calculations or arithmetical operations are performed in the arithmetic and logical unit of the CPU. It can also perform actions like a comparison of data, and decision-making actions. These unit comprises circuits using which addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and other numerical BAST calculations can be performed. All these three units are elements of CPU and together help in the efficient working and processing of data. Input and Output Devices Input Devices can be defined as electronic devices used to send information to the computer system. Example we have the keyboard, the mouse, joystick, touchpad, scanner, etc. Output devices. These can be defined as electronic devices that brings out processed information from the computer system, example include the monitor, your phone screen, printer, speaker, etc. Thanks for your time. On our next tutorial we will be looking at 1. Elements of computer 2. Hardwares 3. Softwares 4. Peoplewares 5. Types of computer Please hit the subscribe button to stay updated, you can also drop a comment and request on the comment session below.